Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. Alright, here we go. Mount Rugged. Oh boy. I do not know this place that well and I have not practiced this yet. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged. Passengers heading from the Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should cross, proceed directly over Mount Rugged over from the station. So yeah, you have to cross over Mount Rugged to actually get to the heart of the chapter, which is Dry Dry Desert, so... We have to do that! It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun time. Okay. Oh, this is actually right here. Oh, you got an egg. An egg of unknown origin restores 5 HP. Yeah, it's nice to know it's just kind of sitting there in the grass and the desert. Jeez. Okay. You got coins, too. Okay, so these are the last residents you're gonna see for a while. So I might as well talk to them. I saw a creature called a Wacka on Mount Rugged. It was ext extra cute. Oh yeah, those guys. Oh man, I feel so bad for them since we're heading that direction. Okay, um, so yeah, I don't know Mount Rugged that well. And here's something you can't do until much later on the game. I already spoiled what you need to destroy those, I'm not gonna do it again. Oh hey, we can heal up again. Yeah, that's really helpful. Or we went to the Toad House. Ah, no, confound it, where could it be? <laughs> what the heck, Mario? Oh, sorry folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. Well, Mario wasn't watching where you were going either. He just looked away as you came this way. <laughs> Mario, what were you doing? What, now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are... You're THE Mario. Hello there. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Um... I'm normally a letter prep perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with the post lost letter. Once you know it, I dropped it on Mount Rugged, and now I can't find it. If you haven't stumbled upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. So yeah, you actually have to find the letters and bring them back to him, and actually something good will happen once you do. So yeah. Oh, this is really cool. You got actually, throughout Mount Rugged, you actually got these slides you can go on. And some of these will actually be very helpful for getting getting around here. I mean, this one is like, just kind of like, just for fun to get those coins. But, there are actually some where you actually have to rely on them in order to advance further in Mount Rugged. If I remember correctly. Okay, so now we got these moles. These moles are so annoying. These are one thing I always remember about Mount Rugged, is just find these, like, these guys over and over and over again. So, they do take quite a beating, too. Yeah, they take like three damage or something like that, so. Yeah, it's fun times fighting these guys. And I messed up there, of course. So basically their attack is they throw rocks at you. Big deal. Of course they do take like one damage even if you dodge, so. Alright, there we go. So that's the last battle against them I'll be showing, because trust me, if I was to show every single battle I'm gonna have against these guys, you guys would be so annoyed that you want to turn off the video. Likewise! Alright, finally that's over. Yeah, that's another thing that's annoying about those stupid moles that they always like, they ambush you, so that's the worst part about them sometimes. Oh, look at this! This is the guy that that girl was talking about. Waku, I'm Wacka, just just on a perfect picture perfect day atop Mount Rocket. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing, wackadoo. Yes it is. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna check my abs real quick if I before I do anything. Because there's actually a limited amount of items you can have at, at a time, I do believe. It's like 10 or something like that. And I've got 11. I got like 12 items here. So maybe the limit's more like... Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm not going to hit this guy, actually. Because you do get something that's really worth it when you fight these guys. Like, you get these little whack a bum things or something like that. They're, they're basically these little feasts that that actually are very helpful. They heal 25 HP and 25 FP for each time you hit those guys and get those. So, as much as I'm against ammo abuse, I would encourage doing that, but um, since I, you know, since I'm a, you know, really, since I'm pretty much out of I'm space, I'm pretty sure, at least right now, um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it this time. So for once, I actually get to, yeah, see, it lets you know when you have 10 items, if you try to get another item that you're out, in, that your inventory's out of space, so you'll, you'll be forced to throw away an item in the process. 
Now, here's actually one of the uh, letters that Paracarry drops. We're gonna actually grab that now. Um, okay, so we still got plenty of time here. Although I do have to be at work in like a little over an hour now, and I still need to get lunch, so I'm not gonna be going for too much longer. In fact, this will probably be the last episode I record today. Which is good, because it's pretty much all I need to record for today. Oh no, not you. Not you. These guys are called. Um, okay, so we switched to Goombario. I don't remember what these guys are called. I think they're called Leftos or something like that. Yeah, I. I'm gonna have to. Shoot. I might have to use Thunder Rage on this guy just to get rid of him. Probably will. Yeah, it's a cleft. These guys take a lot of. are. are have a lot of defense points, basically. I think it's like a 2 or something like that, or 3 at least. It's enough that you cannot use just your regular old hammer to kill them, so you're going to have to avoid them for now. If you do get a battle them, just run away. That's what I advise. Because you can't really do anything about them. Oh, shoot. You're in the way. God. Okay. As long as we get by them, we're fine. Um, there's actually a star piece down here. Can we just drop... I'm pretty sure we can just drop down this one. Yep, we can. Okay, let's get back up there. Okay, so now we're back up here. Let's go beyond here, see what we can find. Now, there's actually a, there's a slide here. I don't know if this will take you anywhere. I'm pretty sure it will, though, because it's not. Otherwise, it'd be just a waste of time. So go down the slide, and it'll actually take, yeah. It'll take you somewhere you can't get to otherwise. To a cleft! No. There's more beyond here on that. Which is good, because I think this actually leads to one letters. Yep, it does, right here. I don't know why, but I could not figure out this area when I'm, during my first playthrough. In fact, this was actually the first time I stopped playing the game. It's right here in this area. That won't be the case now, but uh, let's just use, use an item since we're low. Because I don't want to. I don't want this thing to go to waste. Hey, there we go. Get no, no mushroom. Get the mushroom. Get the mushroom. Get the mushroom. Get the mushroom. Jeez. Oh, okay, stop being noisy. Just be quiet, dude. Oh boy. Oh crap, we got Klepto here. I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, so for the first time ever, I'm going to run away in a battle. Yeah, that's basically how it works. If the trigger lands on the spa on a space that's empty, then you will not be able to run away. Like, you'll be denied running away, which is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny, I guess. Sort of, but also not funny because you want to get away from those enemies. Why do they have to have clefts, clefts in the way? Here's an item, too. It's a honey syrup. God. Okay. Let's get this klepto of our way. I hate how they have kleptos on such these... I mean, clefts on such these you know, huge gaps or whatever. I don't want to jump down, drop down there. Well, this leads to... Please tell me this leads to another layer. I, I, I think it does. Yep, it does. There's actually three letters, in case I haven't mentioned it yet. Because I don't think... Uh, What's a space makes it, you know, actual. Wait. Give me a second. Did I miss a. Is there like another letter up there or something? Because that might be it. I think. God. Go away, sir. I have no use for you. No use. Let's be here. Ah. Uh, coins. Wallets. Cash. Bank accounts. Okay. There's a star piece up there. That's what's up there. Okay. Um, see, so how do you get to that exactly? Oh, there's even a treasure down there. I just saw it. I just spied a treasure down there. Can we, uh... Yeah, you can't exactly jump down like that. Okay, so I... I yeah, actually, I know how to get... I don't know how to get to that treasure chest, but I do know how to get across that star piece, and you won't be able to for a little bit. Wait. Right here. Here we go. That's how you get to this treasure chest right here. I can't believe I figured that out so fast. Damage dodge badge. If you do the action command, it decreases Mario damage by one. So now, when you guard, you actually guard from two damage instead of just one damage. So that's if after you equip the badge, which we can't because I'm out of badge points. So that's why I'm going to have to level up two badge points next. Okay, so we're going to have to save and quit here because I'm out of time here and I need to go off and get something to eat before work starts. Because I'm working 1.30 to 10 today, so like eight and a half hours. So yeah, it's going to be quite a long shift, but I'll manage. As long as I can have some food with me earlier on. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, there's a lot of these guys, a lot of me here. 
Okay, good, save point here. Okay, so next time on Paper Mario, we're going to move on with Mount Rocket, hopefully finish it off. Who knows? But we're doing pretty good so far because we already have the first two level levers, um, letters. So, we're making really, really good progress already. So. See you guys next time. More Paper Mario. Bye.